Florida could be the center of the next abortion battle. A Republican lawmaker introduced a new abortion bill, and it's similar to the one Texas passed into weeks into law weeks ago. CBS 4's Keith Jones joins us with now what with what this new bill entails. Keith? Yeah, well, that state lawmaker that you're talking about, he submitted a 40-page proposal, and it very much mimics the state law in Texas. Essentially, in its simplest form, it prohibits a physician from performing an abortion if a fetal heartbeat is detected. HB 167, introduced Wednesday, is Florida's take on a heartbeat bill. It would ban abortion after a fetal heartbeat is detected, which is typically around six weeks. Many times, that's before a woman even knows she's pregnant. One of the co-sponsors is Florida Rep Anthony Sabatini, a Republican who represents Lake County. If somebody has a heartbeat, they should not be aborted. They are a living being with dignity and, and uh, their life should be preserved and protected under the law. So this would ab uh, abolish those types of abortion. While nearly identical to the Texas bill that recently passed, there are some key exceptions. It includes exceptions for rape, incest, domestic violence, and uh, th th those exceptions are not in the Texas bill. HB 167 makes it a point to replace the word fetus with unborn child. According to the bill, abortions are not allowed if the unborn child can reach what they refer to as viability, but can be permitted if it's determined medically necessary to save a woman's life. Not a win for Republicans or a loss for Democrats. I think this is a loss for women. This is a loss for dignity, and we need to fight really hard. Florida Senate Democratic leader Lauren Book, who represents parts of Broward County, is opposed to the bill, calling it an attack on women's rights. What it does is create a chilling effect and disallows medical providers from providing health care options for women. Um, and it is a chipping, I mean, it will clearly undermine it, and we know that this will prevent women from seeking access to services. Women who seek abortions and doctors who perform them can be punished through a civil lawsuit with damages of at least $10,000 for each abortion deemed in violation. Not only that, but the person may file that lawsuit up to six years after the procedure took place. According to data from the Agency for Healthcare Administration, Dade County has the highest number of abortions performed in the state from the beginning of the year to date at just over 9,000. Broward is second at about 6,700. And just this month, Governor Ron DeSantis said that he very much supports any legislation that deters abortions. And back in July, he joined 10 other Republican governors signing a brief sent to the U.S. Supreme Court calling on the Supreme Court to do away with the Roe v. Wade decision, that landmark decision back from 1973, and also called on the Supreme Court to allow each individual state to determine its own abortion issue. Live in Miami, Keith Jones, CBS4 This Morning.